welcome back to another episode of 12 Inch Figure Fanatics. So today I'm going to review the Alfred Hitchcock 1-6 scale collectible figure. It's by a company called Mondo. This is the first figure I have from them. Uh, so I don't know what to expect opening the box, but I just came across this at a, uh, a comic shop in North Carolina while I was visiting. And uh, this, this is an exception to my collection because all of my collection is themed at uh, movie characters. This is the first one that is actually a, a movie director. So, uh, but I couldn't pass it up because uh, from what I could tell, it's a great figure and uh, the price that I got it at was exceptional. So I, I, I couldn't refuse. So let's open this up and see what we got here. All right, so the box uh, says always make the audience suffer as much as possible. Alfred Hitchcock, one of his famous quotes. So the window here, I always love the windows on boxes because it's giving you a sneak preview of what you're getting. Um, let's open this up and see what we got. Let's read it. I try to ignore the documentaries on uh, how much of a chauvinist Alfred Hitchcock was during his reign because I do value his movies very much. Looks like that was his cigar. Alright, most important thing, let's take a look at the figure. So they definitely went true to the body type on this. Uh, you could tell that it's probably a regular figure body, but they've got some padding on the inside. Uh, looks like a snap closure for the buttons. Excellent likeness. So no belt, but uh, I don't know, maybe he didn't wear belts. Got the tie there. The likeness on the face is just outstanding. Definitely good attention to detail on that. Pretty standard hands. They could have done a better job. I could actually see the uh, the line from the uh, sculpt mold on the hands. So either they, they could have sanded that down or I don't know, done a better job of concealing that mold in print. Good flexibility, standard, standard joints and the head fully rotates. Uh, shoes not actually laced, they're sculpted. That's okay, they're still pretty detailed. Let's see what kind of accessories he's got going on here. All right, so first of all, we got two birds. Well, it looks like a, a crow and a seagull. So I, I, I'm guessing that uh, uh, is a tip to the, uh, the movie, birds. Looks like he came with uh, the knife. You may recognize that from uh, Psycho, Bates Motel. We got that. That's movable. Director Mr. Hitchcock. And this doesn't necessarily reflect on a particular movie. There's no movie on there. Looks like we got two cigars. Uh, it looks like, yeah, so one is unlit and the other one is lit. I might go back in there and actually use a technique that I use where I actually uh, cover the tip in foil and then paint it like a, an off orange reddish so it actually looks like it's uh, lit 
has sort of an illumination appeal to it. All right, we got this awesome director's chair. And uh, it, uh, it looks like it's made out of wood, but it's not. It's just very cleverly done. And uh, very good detailing on that. You've got some metal hinge work on there. Uh, metal where it's supposed to be and wood looking where it's supposed to be. That's good. And of course you got Hitchcock printed right there on the back. It's really a great piece right there. And finally we got the base. in there like that. Uh, they could have put, in fact, I guess that's the Ma Mondo emblem right there. That's their crest. They could have put a, a, a nameplate on there. I, you know, I always like to see nameplates on the bases just to keep, for the matter of consistency, Hot Toys uh, does that with their figures. So uh, I've gotten kind of used to that. But you know, these days, a lot of the figures aren't even come, they don't even come with the, the stands. So uh, I guess I should just appreciate what I've got. I uh, forgot to mention, you actually got uh, two extra pairs of hands here. Two extra hands, I should say. And, uh, yeah, once again, you've got a little crease from the, the mold on both. So it's just, it's just a matter of the process, I guess, that they go through to create them. They could have concealed that a little bit better by sanding it down. And I would have liked to have seen metal for the, the knife. I have a similar knife with my Michael Myers Halloween figure, and I bought it on eBay. It was custom made, and it is metal. I think I paid like $30, $40 for the thing, but uh, well worth it. Uh, let's see. Overall reflections on this figure, I would give it a 8.2. And uh, my biggest complaint would be that, uh, that once again, the creasing on the hands from the molding. And uh, my biggest uh, compliment to this set would probably be the head sculpt itself. It really, they really did a great job on it. Get a little closer on there. They really captured his essence on this. So good job, Mondo. I'll be looking for more of your stuff now in the future. Glad I came across this. Thanks for tuning in.